Hello there. I am Shanae with the Daisy Blue Show. It's Halloween today. And to celebrate, we have a very special guest, Andrea Sagas. Yes, he's incredible. He's got a fur and leather shop and um, he's going to tell us a little bit about his work. And Andreas, can you tell us where you come from and when you came to the States? <laughs> <laughs> so I come here 25 years ago from uh, actually I am from Greece I used to live in Germany before I moved here um, I come visit some friends and I love it and still I'm here never come back Good. it's a beautiful place to to live to make living and some reason people is friendly and nice to each other and I don't think it's a better place to to live, to have business, to raise family. Now, my business is kind of a little uh, up and down. I come here to work with fur in 1992. And um, the industry was kind of down in fur because it was all this uh, new styles of uh, fake fur. I call him plastic, <laughs> and um, and I said, okay, you have to do something different to to make a living. I started to work in the restaurants in the day, and the night I used to make my little fur coats, restyling uh, things. What I learned to do when I was a little kid. And then one day I said, let's start to work with leather. Yeah. And this is what's my passion. This is what's where I like to to do something different. Grew up in 70s, 80s. Always I like the way the rock stars, the hips used to dance. And um, always I dream to make costume for this kind of people. Ah. And it's how I start my business with leather. <laughs> there is See? something is unfinished easy to wear it and uh, it's priced for everybody wow and, beautiful uh, this is some of my statement pieces this and this here too and work with uh, with leather and try to be unique use every mm -hmm. piece the this is my statement pieces unfinished wow. lace and add some fur colors sure and make it unique. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a lot of hand work. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, see how is this here? Yeah. How long does that usually take you to do a piece like Depends. this? Depends. When do I have no friends here, I can finish <laughs> piece in one, two days. Uh, most of the time it takes me a week because I always have uh, uh, people to visit me. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm lucky, always have good employees. Good. I don't call them employees, I call them uh, partners because uh, it's it's nice to to feel family and uh, I have the same people for years and years work for me. That's awesome. And uh, we have a good team. Yeah, that's like that can be difficult. <laughs> you like the mic? <laughs> Big Show Entertainment Network. <laughs> and sometimes I use this for add it to different kind of for for coats add a little bit more accessories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can make these uh, fur balls. Almost for the times I put cuffs and jean jackets, make it look nice. Yeah, that yeah. colors. Mm -hmm. And this is coyote. This is how it's, this is the leftovers for the coat. Show you one. Somewhere here, Let's see it? I like that. That's cool. And this is the fur balls for wow. little scrubs. Ooh. You can take it. Whatever you had. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Actually, you see the hat cows there? Oh, yeah. Okay, there let's you go. see. You both are in the hat. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 
I love this. This is so comfortable. So, um, so how has how has doing fur and leather affected the fashion industry and affected you? Over the years, because I know you said you you started out and there was a lot of fake plastic fur. Yeah. How has that kind of affected you? Um, I work with uh, fur for the last 45 years, 40, 43 years. And the place where I grew up in Greece, everybody was in the fur business. And it was uh, every house was have fur machine, little table, and everybody works in the fur. And it was kind of art. And still it's art for me. It's uh, no mass produce. Uh, and moving here and uh, this, uh, I said Pita, I don't know how to call them, this hypocrites, I start to say bad things for the furriers. Mm. or how to raise the animals, how to kill the animals. And some is true, some is, is fake. Sure. Uh, and I think it's uh, fur is green. You wear it, you don't, it's fit. You wear it, first of all, you buy fur coats for, uh, not for one year. You can be life coat, 40, 50, nice. 60 years. You wear it, your grandkids can wear it too and change maybe the style, or you have the classic style and everybody can wear it. Um, Good quality. Yes. And, <laughs> and after one, two years, you don't wear it the wrong way or sure. recycle. And it's easy with uh, fake fur. It's never takes 300,000 years to, to be destroyed. In the same house, the plastic bottles. This is the reason I drink beer only in in glass, never in plastic. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> and how can you tell the difference? Like if, if it's fake or or real, because you're a pro. How, what are the things you look for visually and, and textual? Okay, you wear leather or fur in the summer. Never you go sweat. You wear fake fur in the summer or in the winter. You, in the winter you feel cold, in the summer you feel sweat. And sure. it's not breathable. This is breathable. Oh, you yeah. can. I can feel it yeah. right now. And it's you wear it, and it's, <laughs> you feel you feel the difference. <laughs> now with touch, this is nice and soft. Right. And uh, with the fake, it's um, it's not the softness. It's, and some is, it's I don't say it, it's all the same. Sure. Uh, it's, you, you feel the difference. Oh yeah. After you soft. wear it, yeah. Yeah. You mentioned that you do a lot of your pieces by hand. And I know you've kind of mentioned that it takes, you know, up to a week by yourself for some of your pieces. What's the most challenging piece, challenging pieces that you do? Is it skirts? Is it coats? And how long do those take for you? Every piece is different. Sometimes it takes, uh, you have to be in the mood to, to finish nice piece. I have uh, this particular one. Uh, can take one day to two days, Fantastic. and you have to <laughs> you have to match the skins perfect. And you see the way where it's here. Mm -hmm. It's not only you can put them together, and something you don't like, you have to change it. Sure, have to be the perfect piece to go away from my door. It's not only me; it's all the people who works here. This is uh, or learn first. Have to. First, we like it, and after our customers or our friends sure. like the piece, have to be perfect. Got it. Yeah, and it's no time. It's uh, it's the passion. Yeah. yeah. It's the same how the painters takes one day to finish one piece and next month to do it. I've, uh, yeah. this That's piece. impressive. That's way shorter time than I thought. <laughs> I'm here for. Oh wow! Let's let's go back over here. Oh, that's a men's jacket. Yes. Okay. And I work in this piece for a month because I don't match the skins the way it needs to match. I have to buy another skins and I have to sew it. I don't like it. I change it. Sure. And because uh, normally we buy thousands of skins to make it the perfect coat. And this, I don't have the budget to buy this. And mm -hmm. I try to find skins 
to make it. And this looks nice. Oh, yeah. Maybe That's really nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's super nice. Wow. Dang. All right, Jay Z. <laughs> Wow. You see this, it's not, still it's not finished. Yeah. Yeah, I have to put the buttons here. And this is custom. Oh, oh yeah, and you can, you can tell it's real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it takes me a month to, to put the, all this together. Wow. Yeah. And when they have the skin, so match perfect, takes two, three days. Yeah. So you have to be in the mood how to make it exactly. Right. It's the sure, day. sure. Wow, yeah. I like it. Okay. Super Dave. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. incredible. So that that's a little more extensive trying to piece that together. Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing that with us. See all these small things together. We have to see wow. It. You see all these individual ones. And this is how to put them together and looks nice. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot of work. It's a lot of work, yeah. That's and very extensive. So every small piece, we don't throw nothing away. We sew together and we make it this kind of I say, blankets. Ooh. And after we cut, so we put the pearls in the top and we make the coats. That's or gorgeous. Anything we needs to be, yeah. Wow. So what would you say is the most challenging part of of your work, what just drives you nuts? To find customers, to pay the money why <laughs> I ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people that appreciate and want to spend the money, huh? Yeah, I, I would see that. Every small piece, and this is, <laughs> everything is by hand. Oh, wow. So do you think the leather's a little easier than the furs? Yeah, it's more easier to teach people to work with, fur, with uh, leather uh -huh. and fur is, you have to start to do it when you're a little kid right. to, to learn the work. It, it looks that way. <laughs> See, everybody can, after a while, can cut the pieces by hand Got or it. sew it. Yeah, this is what makes it unique. When they sew the leather, it's hard. Wow, to, that's stitching, yeah. To stitch is perfect. Yeah. yeah. What is one thing that you wish people knew more about you? Uh, I am honest with all my customers and my business is uh, more worth of mouth. The work what I do and people come here, watch me, how to restyle the grandma's coat to make it more fashionable and people can uh, can wear it again. Yeah, yeah and that's uh, so neat. And I don't like when when people has uh, coats and put them in the closet and coats is to wear it. Yeah. Bring it here and I can make it in jacket, I can make it blanket, I can make it pillows, wow. and I can make something artistic you can wear it. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Wow. And Andreas, where can we find you on social media or how do you how do you I know you said word of mouth, but yeah. how can we find you? In Facebook, it's Angus First Leather Designs. My personal is Andreas Sangas. Instagram, the same thing. It's Angus First Leather Designs. And uh, I have two locations. One is um, Monaco uh, Parkway, South Monaco Parkway. Actually, it's 974 South Monaco Parkway, Denver, Colorado. And uh, my showroom is in Cherry Creek by appointments only. And we do little events. Is uh, 201 Fillmore Street. And uh, the number is 720 uh, 296 6614. It's my cell phone. You can call anytime. Ooh, hear that? Yeah. Uh, uh oh, he put it out there. <laughs> and uh, the story is 720 941 3877. And I have websites. It's Angus First and Leather Designs. You can go there and see piece where you like. You can order, you can come personal here and I make it for you. Well, thank you so much. You. We appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for sharing this with yeah. us. And I hope you guys buy two, three coats. 
I'm, how could you not? I love this one. <laughs> we also want to thank Tony and Guy in Park Meadows and uh, Freshwater CBD for being our sponsors. We really appreciate you. And yes, you'll be seeing us here again soon. And again, I am Shanae McConnell with Andreas Hagas. And if you're living your best life, you must be living Daisy Blue. Thank you so much.